Six Strangest Cases of Prison Smuggling Number 6. On February 4, 2016, an inmate at HMP Manchester complained of abdominal pain. Prison staff rushed Stephen Cavanaugh, 32, to the healthcare wing. Fearing gallstones, they administered an x-ray. The scan produced a vivid picture of a mobile phone hidden in the inmate's anal passage. Correctional officers led Cavanaugh to a segregation unit where he was forced to pass the phone. In 2013, U.S. correction officers confiscated 4,200 phones, or 11 a day. Inmates used diapers, soup packets, beverages, and corrupt guards to bring this desirable contraband behind bars. Mobile phones can be used to plan escapes, make threats, and continue to engage in criminal enterprises from inside prison. In 2013, two convicted murderers serving life escaped from a Florida panhandle prison. Investigators discovered a mobile phone in their abandoned cell. Infamous killer Charles Manson has been caught with cell phones under his mattress, not once, but twice. Number 5. In January 2017, a British prison officer was sentenced to nine months for smuggling the semen of a convicted kidnapper out of HMP Garth. A routine search uncovered the seed-filled syringe in a handbag belonging to 47-year-old grandmother Alison Sharples. Investigators also discovered a letter written by felon Marvin Berkeley in Sharple's underwear drawer. The former operational support officer was convicted of misconduct in a public office. The trial revealed that Sharples was besotted with Berkeley. One friend alleged that Sharples received the semen from under the cell door and planned to use the culpal syringe like a turkey baster. When the relationship came to light on October 23, 2014, Berkeley was only weeks away from parole. In 2007, Berkeley and his twin Michael were convicted of leading a Manchester hijacking crew. DNA analysis revealed the sperm could belong to either brother. With Michael at another prison, the donor's identity became obvious. Number 4. In January 2017, a Florida probation officer was arrested for smuggling a sub to an inmate in Leon County Jail. Geraldine Harris, 39, asked to speak to prisoner Tarvel Douglas about a hearing in her office. Corrections officers were suspicious of the unusual request, and it was not the first time it had happened. After the meeting, an x-ray revealed that Douglas had a Publix Italian sub, packaged pastries, and candy hidden in his jail uniform. The same month as the Publix sub situation, a former Chicago police dispatch supervisor became the fifth person indicted in a smuggling ring that used sandwiches to bring tobacco, marijuana, and alcohol into Cook County Jail. Number 3. In February 2017, guards at a Brazilian prison captured a pigeon carrying a mobile phone. Officials from San Paulo's Franco da Roca prison believe the bird was attempting to smuggle the contraband communication device to an inmate. Guards were alerted when they spotted an inmate attempting to catch the pigeon. A pouch containing a mobile phone and a battery was found firmly attached to the pigeon's body. Prison officials do not know for whom the phone was intended. This is not the first case of prison pigeon smuggling. In September 2016, Colombian prison guards captured a pigeon carrying a mobile phone and a USB stick. In 2015, officials at Costa Rica's La Reforma prison captured a pigeon equipped with 14 grams of cocaine and 14 grams of marijuana in a pouch. Number 2. On November 4, 2014, a British nurse confessed to smuggling erotic novel Fifty Shades of Grey to her secret inmate lover. While working as a substance abuse nurse at HMP Wheelston, Kimberly Hind fell for Lee Stevenson. According to investigators, Hind would spend extended periods with Stevenson in private consultation. Afterward, she would return looking flustered. Prison officials searched Stevenson's cell and discovered correspondence discussing Fifty Shades of Grey and their relationship, as well as a copy of the book. Hind initially denied the relationship. However, she ultimately pled guilty to misconduct in a public office. The plea was contingent on the fact that the relationship was overly familiar but not sexual. She was sentenced for nine months, suspended for two years, and given 200 hours of unpaid work. The court found that Hind continued her relationship with Stevenson even after being suspended and used an alias in correspondence to avoid identification. Number 1. In January 2017, a Venezuelan woman was arrested for attempting to smuggle her lover out of prison in a hot pink suitcase. Antonetta Robles Sauda, 25, and her six-year-old daughter traveled to Jose Antonio Anzotiga prison to free Ibrahim Jose Vargas Garcia. 
who was serving 10 years for car theft. However, the plan was foiled when Sauda struggled to wheel the overstuffed luggage, prompting guards to search her. They discovered the 25-year-old convict twisted, doubled over, and contorted into the suitcase along with his daughter's toys. Guards promptly arrested Sauda. Social services took their daughter into temporary custody. Before Garcia was tossed back in the slammer, guards made him climb back into the suitcase for photo ops.